Adding GIFs to your videos can help spruce up your content, add a bit of movement, and sometimes a bit of humor to your work. Now, there's a healthy debate about the pronunciation of these soundless animated graphics, but a GIF or a GIF, however you prefer to say it, is actually an acronym and stands for Graphics Interchange Format, a way to compress videos as images. Created back in the 80s by American computer scientist Steve Wilhite, GIFs were great for tackling the issues associated with downloading large video files on the low bandwidth dial-up internet connections of the day. Today though, we find ourselves using GIFs to express ourselves or show our reactions to things, mainly on social media. However, you can also use these within your videos and that's what we're gonna focus on this week. All you need is your LumaFusion editor and your Instagram account. You see, Instagram has a whole host of GIFs available to creators and are searchable through the animated picture platform Giphy. You can add these to your videos in a few simple steps. Step one, open up Instagram on your device and head to your profile. Next, look for this plus icon at the top of the screen and once tapped, create a new story. Next, tap on any random picture in your camera roll, it doesn't matter which, because the next step is to cover it with a block of green, which will eventually be keyed out in LumaFusion. So tap on these three dots here and then draw and then tap on the color green before pressing and holding the screen with your finger to color it all in. So now you can see we have a lovely green background, which we're going to add our chosen GIF to. The next stage is to find the GIF we want to add to our LumaFusion project. So tap on the square smiley face sticker icon at the top of the page here and tap on the GIF icon. Next, search through the library of GIFs here by typing in a keyword and choosing a GIF that you like. Tap once and see it's been added to your story. Resize this now by using your fingers, pinching outwards with two fingers on the screen. You can move it around by just moving your finger around the screen like this, you're just dragging it. Now you can see you have a GIF ready to add to LumaFusion. Now at no stage in the process here are we actually publishing anything to Instagram, so none of your followers will see what you're creating. We're simply using Instagram to get our GIFs we're going to add to LumaFusion. So here we're going to simply save what we've created directly to our camera roll. To do this, tap on the three dots here at the top right of your screen and tap save. Next stage is to leave Instagram by closing the app and heading to your camera roll. There we can see we have our video file ready to use. The next stage is to go into LumaFusion and see that file in your media library. There it is. Simply find where you want to put it in your video, so about here, and then drag it to the timeline and add it as a layer as you would do any other video. Next, double tap and open up the color and effects editor. We want to get rid of that green background here, so we're going to key it out. So tap the key icon to find the green screen key, and once pressed, you'll find the background of your image is gone, leaving you with just your GIF on screen. In the frame and fit editor, place your GIF in the desired position and resize on screen as needed. And now in your video, you'll have a lovely GIF playing alongside your content. Remember, you can also trim the length of this piece of content and add any transition as you need. Of course, if you're going to add multiple GIFs to your video in LumaFusion, just make them all in one picture in Instagram and crop them as necessary in your editor. That way you only have to go into Instagram once. So as we've seen, GIFs are really fun to use and pretty easy to add. However, make sure you use them sporadically because just like anything, if you use them too much, they can lose their effectiveness. So how can we use them within our videos to make our content stand out, but make sure our audience doesn't get bored of them? Well, here are some of my top techniques that you can get started with today that you might like to try yourself. First off, how about using GIF letters to spell out a word or sentence? These animations can make your titles pop and draw your audience's attention to those key phrases. Or how about you use your GIFs for directing your viewer around the page? Just look at these animated arrows you can add, perfect for how-to or tutorial videos where you need to give directions as you go. Perhaps you want to create a snazzy border with GIFs, either by typing border into the Giphy search engine or by finding a bright and colorful animation and cropping it down to size. Also remember that graphics can be used to keep your content more original and exciting. Just look at these examples here. They're not needed for an effective video, but are a fantastic way to hold your viewers' attention. And finally, don't forget to experiment with GIFs for your Aston bars and titles. There are tons of snazzy animations that can jazz up your content here. So go and have a look and see what works for you. 
We would love to see what creations you guys produce using GIFs, so please do tag us if you post them online. And of course, any questions or comments, please pop them in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. It's been a pleasure as always. I'll see you next week right here for more content from the Lumatouch Academy.